Hey, Flimsy Lunch Tray here, and welcome back to World of Warships with uh, the continuation of our new player guide series. I am a little behind on getting today's video out, so hopefully that doesn't uh, upset uh, you too much uh, for those of you who like to follow along closely with uh, the content. So, in today's video, I want to talk about not so much regarding the gameplay, uh, not so much about... Um, achieving different objectives in the game as a new player but what i want to talk about is something is really uh, more regarding the mentality in the game and something that's really important uh, for you as a new player uh, to understand this and the significance of this it's something that i practice regularly that helps me uh, enjoy the game of world of worships more um, and feel more refreshed uh, so on and so forth so that is taking breaks from the game of world of worships I feel any player, um, especially those if you play on a daily basis, um, like I typically do, you have to have breaks from the game. And that helps your mentality so much. Um, it goes really far in helping you uh, enjoying the game. Uh, I know people who play the game a ton, they play it a lot, uh, and then they just get burnt out with it, and then they, you know, end up the don't end up playing the game for you know months or maybe even a year or so will go by um, because they didn't take uh, breaks from the game. I really enjoy the game. Uh, I really love playing it. And so for myself, I know something that really helps me is taking breaks from playing World of Warships on a regular basis. Um, and it's really up to you as a player what that looks like, um, what you feel like you need um, to be able to help you out. So I'll give you an example. And I've talked about uh, taking breaks before in a game. Um, I did uh, a video on uh, I think I can't remember how I titled the video, but it's like being basically I I've gave it as being a Unicum player um, and enjoying the game having fun and I gave a list of things I do to help helps my enjoyment of the game and the biggest thing is taking breaks uh, from World of Warships. I think any player needs to be able to have that consistently so for example, what I do is that I have every quarter um, of the calendar year, I will take five days off from World of Warships. Um, so I'm actually, I'm kind of in the midst of taking one of those breaks right now. Um, it kind of turned out a good timing. Um, personally for me, I had COVID and then uh, I've also had some things going on in personal life that I've had to be dealing with right now. Uh, and so just from that, just like, uh, the last thing I kind of think I want to do is just uh, add playing World of Warships uh, right now, uh, just mentally for myself. Uh, but every quarter, every three months, I take a set aside time uh, of not playing the game for what I try like to do is five days in a row. Uh, so right now I am on three days of not playing any World of Warships. Um, and then in last week, I had... I think I ended up having three days off of not playing the game either. So I've, I'm actually six days of not playing World of Warships in a time span of two weeks. So um, I might be getting on tonight and playing. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll see. But what I like to do is, you know, every three months, I take at least five days off from playing World of Warships. Um, and for me, sometimes that can be, as an example, it could pair with a vacation trip you're taking. It could be a work trip you're going on. Um, I mean, it's really up to you. I mean, you can make it work for you. I mean, if you're just going to be home a lot and stuff, I mean, you don't feel like you have to force yourself away from the game or something. Um, but it's really healthy as a player that you're taking time off uh, from the game, in my opinion. Otherwise, you just get really burnt out. You can get really frustrated with the decisions that Wargaming makes. Um, it takes away your enjoyment of the game. Like in this battle, we have uh, two CVs. Which at lower tier, it's not as noticeable as the high tier when you have a tier 8 and tier 10 carrier. Um, but there's different things that, you know, maybe if just something a little happens in the game. Uh, a teammate makes a bad decision, um, they, they throw the game, so on and so forth, and you're just getting, you get really frustrated, really agitated, maybe you're even talking uh, crap and chat to them and stuff. That may be a sign that you need to take a couple of days off from World of Warships. Um, another example that I have given with this is, you know, if, if uh, why I say World of Worships shouldn't be the only video game you play, um, you should have another game or two 
uh, that help you and um, that are that helps you to distress more so for myself uh, a de-stressor game for me is playing farming simulator 2019 uh, or playing command conquer red alert um, that is another game that helps me de-stress um, because you're not dealing with uh, humans uh, at least for myself and how I play those two games um, just playing it out distressing and whatnot um, and that you need to have that if your only intake is word of worships like you know if you're only let's for example paint it as a picture of you're only consuming one food on a regular basis every day at some point you're going to get really tired and you're just going to be sick of eating that one food um, you're going to want to stop eating the food you're going to want to start um, changing your diet up uh, including some other food groups in right uh, kind of going off of that comparison and example there so Every player needs breaks from World of Warships. Now, you might be a player you're only able to play on the weekend. Then maybe you don't need a, a break so much because you have, you're have you not playing the game between Monday, Thursday, as an example. Um, and especially when you're a new player, the task and the mentality of, oh my gosh, there's so much I have to do in this game. And it can be... You know, you don't have a tier 10 yet. Maybe that's your first goal. That was kind of my first goal when I was playing the game is to get to a tier 10 ship first. And that for me was the US Destroyer of the Gearing. Um, and then the more tier 10 ships you get, the the quicker you are find the grind because you're playing more high tier then you get your commanders. Up to the soul crunching grind of a 21 point commander versus a 19 point commander, how it used to be in the past. Um, it's just really hard. I'm trying to get, I'm still in the process of getting multiple commanders from 19 to 21. Um, but it can be a lot um, in terms of the game. So you have to be able to, and as I would say, uh, put boundaries with the game, uh, put boundaries with how much you're playing World of Warships, and taking breaks because it really helps you to reset. Uh, I've even said, you know, it could be for, you know, a, a veteran of World of Warships who's been playing the game for, you know, four or five years. Um, and you know, hey, you may need to take a break, and it might be you take a break and you don't miss the game of World of Warships at all. And you're like, this is the greatest thing ever. I'm, I'm gonna uninstall the game, and maybe in a year I'll play, it, or maybe I'll never play it again. Um, and if that's you, then that is totally fine. Um, to doing what's best for you. Oh, that was a hard hit right there. <laughs> but it's whatever you need to do for yourself as a player. So, um, I really try to drive this point home. I've talked about it different times before but never just a solo video focused on talking about taking breaks from World of Warships. It will help you long-term in playing the game. It'll help you enjoy playing the game more um, because this is a really fun game in my opinion. So there's nothing, there's no other game that can compete with World of Warships. Um, even if we don't always agree with what Grower Gaming is doing as a company, the, what the developers are instituting and implementing into the game. Um, a lot of question marks get thrown around there. Um, and if you're a new player, if uh, the, uh, I don't remember how they, how they phrase it here, but you if you're a new player and you don't understand what I'm talking about, you will one day, just right. <laughs> when I first started playing the game, I'm like, oh, this is great, this is fantastic. And then I was like, wait, what is what is this company Wargaming doing, right? It's like, it's not so much you need a break from World of Warships, it's like you need a break from the devs and uh, the company itself for but I'm going to say stupid stuff they do from time to time um, on, a, on an annual basis. <laughs> uh, so take breaks from the game. Um, I'm not really going to keep uh, beating that uh, into the ground. Um, I think that horse is, uh, the horse has been ridden now. I'm not gonna ride the horse to death. Um, but it's just, it will really help you long-term um, enjoying the game. So take breaks. That is a really fundamental thing that I think any new player in a game uh, should understand um, in a person like me who's been playing the game for two years to tell you that yo take a break it's okay like it's, it's gonna be good for you if you take the a break um, because a lot of times you know the focus is more on playing you have to understand as a player that word of warships uh, they one thing they understand as a company wargaming understands really well is that if you want to keep your players, if you want to keep your audience, if you want to keep people paying and uh, money into the game, then the best thing for them to do is to pump out as much content as possible, not only on a monthly basis, but on a weekly basis, right? 
So Wargaming has done really well as a company to set things up to get you to play the game constantly. That you know, even uh, players who play this game every day um, and invest even maybe multiple hours in a day in the game. I mean, it's almost like uh, to a certain extent they're barely able to keep up with how much content Wargaming is producing. So for myself as a player, sometimes I have to choose what I'm going to participate in and what I'm not going to participate in. Uh, yeah, one or the other. Um, so I mean, when you think about the uh, daily rewards you claim when you first log into the game, that is something that Wargaming set up not too long ago and that's designed to get you to log into the game every day. So then at the end of the month, you will get your super container, okay? So Wargaming is purposely doing that. Um, so for a, a player who's like, I'm not gonna play the game, but I'm gonna log in and get my daily reward. I mean, you're after you claim the daily reward, you're sitting there in port looking at maybe the, that really ship you really enjoy playing. And well, maybe I'll play a couple of battles, right? So Wargaming is always looking to try to, how do they hook you in? Um, how do they keep you playing the game constantly? Uh, you know, they have all different types of game battle modes. Um, you even have, you know, uh, the clan battles of uh, and naval battles. So naval battles, if you're in a clan that you participate in and kind of competing against other clans with um, earning damage or ribbons or ship experience. Um, then you have combat missions on a regular basis. You have, uh, you know, or maybe you're trying to get some community tokens if you play uh, grand battles or um, certain game modes that Wargaming is rewarding you, incentives to try to get you to play. Um, playing super ships, right? There's some incentive there. If you play some super ships, you get some uh, ranked tokens from that. If you get 8,000 base experience and up, um, you have uh, the dockyard. You know, and the dockyard goes for almost two updates. Um, even if you whale a dockyard and you get that tier, the, the final goal of the ship, I mean, you still have all those combat missions to do for the dockyard. Um, and so that is another way we're getting, it's like, well, if you want to get these things uh, for free up to a certain point where you might have to, you have to pay for the last five phases, like we had with the Marlboro, then you're going to have to play almost every day or at least spend several hours uh, here and there to be able to accomplish this week's combat missions in order to unlock the shipbuilding phases um, to get the rewards that you want. So Wargaming is very good about keeping players engaged and playing almost every day. Um, even though I know some of you may only have the chance to play on the weekend because of your jobs, family obligations, uh, whatever, so on and so forth. So. Um, so as a player coming to the point where saying like, okay, yeah, there's these things are always going to be in the game. They're never leaving uh, and keeping you engaged that you as a player just have to decide, you know what? I got to take a break. I got to take three days off. I got to take five days off, right? Um, and doing that on a regular basis because then you're not so much focused on just enjoying and playing the game. It just becomes a constant grind. It becomes uh, an, another item on the to-do list to do. Um, and that can really, I mean, that can take away your fun a lot uh, from playing the game World of Warships. Um, you know, for example, I talked recently about um, Halo Infinite. If you uh, are a fan of Halo, like I am, um, Halo Infinite has had a challenge where they basically, I would say, they ended up releasing the game too early. And they had, then they, everyone on their staff went on Christmas break, so on and so forth, and they got back in the office in January. And Halo Infinite has lost over 100,000 players because they do not have enough content um, in the game. They're behind. Um, so they released the game too early. They had, uh, whether I think it's playing um, like a co op campaign, if it's uh, Forge mode, can't quite remember what all, but there's a lot of content they're behind in, in producing, so a lot of players are just leaving because there's not enough things for them to do. They get to a certain point like, well, I've done everything, so why would I keep playing? So having, uh, as a player, uh, a goal that you're striving for, like that's uh, when a gaming company gets and understands that that's what keeps players playing. Um, but there's also the, the balance of they need to be able to do that well and not driving away their player base. So World of Warships has a high turnover when it comes to players um, quitting and leaving the game. And Wargaming doesn't focus so much on what I, I would argue 
uh, the retention rate of keeping uh, players in the game. What they focus on is recruiting new players. So it's like fresh blood. Um, so for them, it's easier for them to focus on getting new players than focusing on the retention uh, of keeping players who've been in the game for a really long time. As bizarre as that can be, even if you have these players who spent a lot of money into the game, uh, that's just not how Wargaming rolls. Um, that's uh, the line that they have taken. Um, but even with you have a lot of players leaving the game and you have new players coming into the game on a regular basis, um, their server levels uh, across all servers are basically this uh, status quo. It made it the same. It's been a little hard track because of COVID. Um, what kind of emphasis has effect has COVID had? Although the Russian server is always decreasing. Um, there's always uh, a downturn uh, with how many players are uh, on the Russian server. That's just a number that's always goes down. So, and I reference um, this Wargaming gives some things for you to see uh, how many players are playing every day, logging in. Um, C Raptor, he is a community contributor, a World of Worship's content creator on the North American server. Uh, and he does these quarterly reviews that are phenomenal. Go check those out. It's really helpful and helps you as a player understand uh, as a whole uh, each quarter how the game is progressing. Uh, and then even understanding uh, at the end of the year, kind of reflecting on the year as a whole uh, with how things have gone. So, um, so that helps you understand the health of the game in that sense. So, um, so yeah, so take breaks in the games. Um, even if it's not World of Warships, you're playing on a regular basis and you just happen to be here checking out uh, my YouTube channel. Um, but um, it's really helpful. It'll help you long term and more of your enjoyment of the game. Because when I've, for me personally, when I have several days off from the game, then I'm much more excited. I'm like, oh, I want to come back and play this game again, kind of thing. So, so if uh, I'm going to wrap that topic up now, uh, so if you want to stick around even a little for a few more minutes, I'm going to break down what's happening here. Um, this was uh, a battle on the European server with the Gnome Clan, uh, Josh and oh no, I forgot how to pronounce his name again. <laughs> oh no. Um, Dryalga? Kansha? It means maybe in the region. Um, but um, this battle has been a very difficult one. And having two CVs and uh, still two battleships at play. So uh, I've been uh, focusing on one staying alive, but also I've been focusing on resetting this battleship player here. Uh, he was trying to cap A, and so I reset him, and he realized he couldn't stay on the cap, and he has to come off. And at, while I'm trying to fight him, uh, I have two CV players attacking me constantly. <laughs> the fun police. Um, so we're, I'm out of smoke, and I'm taking a lot of punishment being here. But at the same time, I need to protect my carrier player, because if he dies, uh, I'm screwed. Um, because we have three caps ticking, uh, and you can see this on the score timer, uh, we are five seconds ahead. Uh, but if he dies, it's not happening. If I die, we're not going to win the game. So I have to focus on living right now. Uh, that is the goal. Um, so we have to do uh, a lot of juking, a lot of propulsion, uh, uh, increase the throttle, decrease the throttle, um, like here. <laughs> so lucky. So lucky we didn't take even one of those hits. Because if we took one of those, we would die uh, by the end of this battle. So I'm keeping this island between uh, me and the battleship player. So whenever the CV planes are not spotting me, hopefully I can go dark. Um, so this is a real struggle challenge in being in to. And like these uh, dive bombers, like you want to stay horizontally to them um, versus being uh, in a line. So now we're less than, was it 700 health? And, but I'm dark. Okay, I just got detected again. And I'm dark. And you can see our points. If you look at the top of the screen, how close it's gonna be. They're both gonna uptick. 998, oh, who won? It's so close, right? And we end up grabbing the win right at the end. So <laughs> the importance of retaining your health as a destroyer player because it could be the difference between your team uh, losing or winning at the end of the battle. So almost 90,000 damage to destroyed, um, eight set on fires, 
Uh, the Hill is an American premium tier 5 destroyer uh, that I picked up for Cole uh, last year. Um, you can see we're going to top the team uh, in terms of uh, experience. And I haven't been on the European server, oh my gosh, by the last two weeks just because COVID and things have been really busy in my personal life. But I'm hoping to get back on this coming weekend um, so I can focus a little bit more on getting some more content to show you here uh, as part of this new player guide series. Um, here you can see the detailed report, how we ended up doing. Um, the furry taco, uh, furry taco as we like to call it. Uh, definitely kill still there, but he needed to die uh, to help us as a team win. And then uh, credits and XP earnings. I got uh, some free premium time uh, from World of Worship, so I was using that. Uh, but I don't think I probably have any premium uh, account time now. Uh, I'll have to log back in and look. So yeah, so that is uh, today's topic on take breaks. It will really help you as a player long term, um, especially as a new player. Really embrace that. Um, you know, even have another game or two that really helps you to stress if we're getting, if playing World of Worships sometimes can be sometimes I can log on in the evening and it's a lot of fun really enjoying it and other times it's almost stressful uh, especially when I'm having to carry uh, teams a lot uh, this was a little bit of a stressful battle <laughs> as an example um, yeah so yeah so if you uh, like today's video give it a thumbs up if you did not give it a thumbs down subscribe if you do want to see more if you're subscribed thanks so much I really appreciate it as we continue to grow the community here with you, uh, really, uh, really thankful. So until next time, take care.